Hey guys, it's Adam again. I've actually just realised that I'm even further behind than I thought I was. So this is actually week 11. Um, week 10, which is the one I just did, um, was obviously last week, which I missed. And I'm sorry, again. Um, as I said, I should be more regular with my videos now. Um, so this is an excellently awkward week because it is toilet talk. So first of all, which toilets do I use? Now, that's quite interesting. Um, uh, I've probably mentioned I've got long-standing family issues beforehand, so um, if I'm out with my family, I basically don't pee unless it is absolutely necessary. Um, and then when I do, I kind of hide behind my mum and walk into the female toilets, pee and sort of run out. Um, I've actually had a lot more hassle in the female toilets than I have ever had in the male toilets. I was at the Paralympics a few, uh, when were they on last month or whatever it was, um, and I actually got kicked out of the female toilets by one of the toilet attendants because she asked if I was a girl and I was just sort of like, uh, yes, and then she just kicked me out because she didn't believe me. So um, that was both a good moment but also a sad one because I'd been there since 7 o'clock in the morning. Um, and by this point it was about 7 o'clock in the evening and I really had to pee. Um, so that was not an ideal situation, but in all other aspects of my life, so as long as my family aren't around, I use the male toilets and I've honestly I've never had a problem with them. Um, walk in, do your business, walk out. Generally guys don't give a toss who's in there. Um, as long as you're not sort of staring at them, then they're pretty chill. Um, I do know of some friends who have had a few questions in the toilets, but I personally don't know of anybody who's had any serious issues whilst using the male toilets. Um, so that's that's my toilet choice. Um, now for the really awkward bit, which is um, what do you do at that time of the month, which none of us like to talk about. Well, for me, um, I genuinely am quite lucky in that um, I've got polycystic ovary syndrome. Um, for some people it means that they have really irregular periods. Mine, mine are fairly regular. This is really awkward, I never thought I'd be talking about this. Um, anyway, um, I, ha I do, but they only last sort of uh, two to three days. Um, how I deal with them is, I found, mentally speaking, that using tampons was actually much better for me than using pads because I kind of was more conscious of the fact that I had a pad there whereas I wasn't about the tampon. Um, so mentally that helped me deal with it a lot. Um, in terms of toilets I also found it more useful because you can kind of just flush it away and it's also easier to kind of conceal tampons like uh, stick it in your phone case or or just wherever really. So um, <clears throat> yay for being awkward. Um, so that's, that's my week 11 toilet talk pretty much. Not really much else to say on that that issue, so uh, see you real soon guys, bye!